Hello Internet, welcome to another microprocessor architecture tutorial. In this beginner's tutorial, we are going to understand what programming model is and how do we go about studying programming models of different microprocessors. So we'll start with the programming model of 8085. Now programming model refers to the structure of internal registers in a microprocessor. Now 8085 is an example of a very simplistic microprocessor. As we go further and advanced the registers inside the microprocessors they become larger in number and they become larger in complexity also. So it is very uh, essential to understand uh, the significance of internal registers inside the microprocessor. And we'll start with 8085 and then we'll go on to discuss the registers, their significance and why they are made in such a way for complicated microprocessors also. So if you are familiar with 8085 then you know that 8085 has a few registers which are 8 bit in size And there are a few registers which are 16 bit in size. Now the the cluster of these registers together they form the programming model of 8085. Now please understand each of these registers are specifically designed as an 8-bit or a 16-bit registers with a purpose in mind. Now before we actually start discussing the sizes and purposes of these registers we must understand that some of these registers are special function registers or abbreviated as a SFRs. PC is program counter. SP is tag pointer. A is accumulator. B, C, D, E, H and L are general purpose registers. W and Z are temporary registers. I, R is instruction register. Now, let me just put a question forward. We know that 8085 has a 16-bit address line. In other words, if I say 8085 will address a memory that has 16-bit address, or it will always point to a 16-bit address memory location externally. So if I were to point to a memory location through a register 
what should be the size of that register the answer to that is pretty simple that the register should be at least 16 bit long in order to accommodate the memory address now out of all these registers program counter and stack pointer they point to a memory location in the memory program counter points to a specific memory location from where the program is starting the current location of the program and of course the memory location which program counter is pointing is a 16 bit address so it has to have the ability to store 16 bits in order to point to that 16 bit address so that is why the program counter and stack pointer are 16 bit registers because they have to hold a memory address which is 16 bit long now we also know that the 8 bit data line of 8085 will accommodate only 8 bits of data transfer to and fro from the memory so if I were to bring something from an external memory I can only bring 8 bits of data so what should be the size of my register my internal register in the microprocessor so as to accommodate 8 bits of data which I'm bringing from the memory obviously the answer would be 8 bit and that is why all the registers the general purpose registers are 8 bit registers because they are dealing with the data which is coming from the memory or they are dealing with the data that microprocessor has to send to the external memory and similar is the case with W and Z temporary registers now if I tell you one more fact that all the instructions in microprocessor 8085 are one byte instruction as far as their opcode is concerned all the other subsequent bytes are operand so any instruction would be at least one byte and the the additional bytes are operands so how many bytes or how many bits uh, of instructions one has to deal with while bringing uh, it from the memory the answer to that would be 1 byte or 8 bit so that is why our instruction register is also 8 bit long now if you understand that all the registers are specifically made with a purpose uh, and they have a strong connection to the width of address line and data lines we'll understand that the data registers are directly linked to the data bus and the address registers are their their width is directly linked to the address lines and that is what happens with all the microprocessors as we advance although some microprocessor processors have complicated architecture so as to minimize the size of the registers they they use multiplexing and other different techniques to address to the memory location but more or less programming model uh, refers to the understanding of the size of the registers with respect to the address and data lines so when we take up the examples of Pentium processors or um, higher microprocessors we'll understand that uh, depending upon uh, the functionality of the microprocessor these are designed in such a way and thank you so much for this uh, watch on the video and if this video helped please consider subscribing to this channel have a good day and a good life bye